Hello everybody, this is Miles Luigi welcoming you back to Let's Play Mario Gives Up 2. You see he gave up, which means Luigi now has to go through Acid Labs Incorporated. Going into the acidic labs here, you probably want to, you know, come a little bit more prepared. Uh, looks like Luigi's not taking the regular everyday tour, that's for damn sure. Well, uh, looks like we're starting at the top of the level and making our way down to the bottom. And now we have to climb all the way back up. Oh, hello, I can kick you or punch you off. That's funny. All right, I think we actually got a level more akin to something like, uh, ooh, I probably don't want to touch the red ones. They're steaming hot. So. We got a puzzle type level, kind of like you would find in, say, I'm. I thought I was dead. <laughs> like you would find in Donkey Kong or Mario versus Donkey Kong, which I'm all right with. Uh, do well. Um, well, it's time to find out. This kills me, right? Yes, it does. Did you really need to find out if touching a hype, po hype pod will kill you? Did I have anywhere else to go? Come on, self-conscious. Right. Jump off the platform, man. Jump off the platform, man. And safely somewhere else. We are. There we go. Oh, that... <laughs> why would I... Oh, I, I know why I assume that. I'm like, hey, is there a block in here? Nope. So I guess this time, we're gonna go downwards and figure out what in the world is going on. This actually looks like an abandoned acid factory, or you know, something that was used for one time and is no longer in use. I do believe I hit a switch, so if I go back up here, I should be able to take a different path than I took the first time. But you know, there's rotting acid all over the place, and it, you know, frozen pipes, and red hot pipes, and you know, no maintenance staff at all anywhere in this place as we jump for that hot ass pipe and jump for that hot ass pipe. Where does that pipe go? Why in the world would you just have like a donut as your pipe? <laughs> hey Jim, where does this pipe go? Oh, it feeds into itself. And it's like, what's its purpose? It just feeds into itself. Yeah, the maintenance guys thought it looked funny, and yes, it does look funny. Well, Jim, can you tell me why there's so many Koopa Troopas crawling all over the place? Because they love this acid stuff that's spewing out of these pipes! Jim, I don't think this is safe anymore. <laughs> Actually, instead of that, you, uh... What happens when you expose yourself to too much radiation, bad stuff happens to your body, and you basically die? Too much cancer, stuff like that. Do you think you become radioactive, man? Nope. Alright, so last time the Koopa Troopas on the ladder has kind of got me. This time, not gonna happen, I'm gonna punch them right off! Yeah, Alright, whoop! Oh, I thought for a second I might have to build a bridge up here, and I'm like, oh, I don't want the big spark to get me finally a power up! I really needed that, to tell you the truth, because I've been going through this entire level power up less! Okay. Alright, Luigi. Seriously, take the tour or the normal path. Don't try going through all the stupid pipes and... I could use this midway point, I'll take that. Ha ha! Alright, through the pipe we go, and it looks like... Whoa! Oh gosh, no, this is flipping platforms. Which means I have to pay attention to when they turn on and when they turn off. Like right now they're... And jump now. Stuff like that. <laughs> I like how there's a computer terminal in the background. It's like control... Like actually... You know what would be a brilliant idea? as I almost killed myself actually, <laughs> is TURN OFF THE POWER! You know, so I don't have to deal with the electric sparkies and stuff like these turnable platforms don't keep moving and they're just in one state instead of dropping Luigi off under the acid. Yikes. Well, if you ever want to see Luigi's skeleton, you had a brief moment to see it, but it burned and dissipated as well, and Luigi's now a pile of carbon. It, you had to have noticed that. It looked pretty gruesome. There we go. I can't help but think that most of the enemies here are actually here to collect raw materials and then sell them either on a valid market or a black market, doesn't even matter. They're just here, you know, because this old abandoned acid factory has a whole lot of good chemicals to purchase, or not purchase, to collect, so then they can purchase this, or I don't know why I keep saying that, so they can sell them off. Oh god, I'm with a green blob. That was gonna happen. Go figure. Alright, get my next pal.
There we go. Let's not fall through the floor this time. Thank you very much. This is a green blob though really wants to follow me around. There you go. I wonder if it's like the Zelda 2 green or blobs that take like a thousand hits to finally kill. But let me tell the story behind this place. Oh, I forgot the dry bones come back to life. Basically, the owners of this place eventually decided that uh, since they weren't meeting up to safety requirements from the uh, Mushroom Kingdom equivalent of um, OSHA, they honestly decided it was more cost effective for them to just flat out build a new factory and abandon this one than it was to uh, fix their current factory. So they ran away from this factory, abandoned it, and then now you have all these enemies all over the place trying to collect all the raw materials coming off this factory, you don't make money, and, like it's super dangerous! Luigi, you should have just walked around the building. Alright, just let the dry bones kill himself. There you go, okay. Well, ooh, there's a mushroom back there. Good thing that was not instant death, but ooh, wham, this is just a long hallway of completely unsafe items. Oh my gosh, it's like, yeah, I don't want to fall through the floor again! Damn it! Damn it all! Damn it all! Don't care! Don't care! Man, oh, this isn't actually the dick jump yet, it's the next one that's the dick jump. This level, this hallway specifically is really... Oh. I don't even care for you anymore. That hall will be stupid. Good. Grieving. Good. Grieving. Don't. Care. Any. More. Just brute force to fight. <laughs> uh, this level is stupid. <sighs> Ah, <sighs> that level was not basic, which is funny, because it was the acidic plant. And only ten people out there are going to understand that joke, but it is a joke if you didn't know. Please to God tell me Mario on a train is a better level than that. Oh gosh. Okay, Mario goes on a train ride, and like his stupid brother went into an acid plant. <laughs> Yeehaw! I reckon the gosh dang train is running out of control. Get to the front and stop this thing before it crashes. We got 400 seconds until train crashes. Apparently somebody knocked out the train conductor, and that was a really dumb move, because, you know, now the train's going crazy, and we gotta get to the front for some reason. The Passengers were being seated all the way in the back, and all the supplies were in the middle, and we gotta get through all the supplies and make it to the front. And in reality, this is actually a lot like an airship level, I don't need to read that again, except, you know, on a train, so, uh, lots of bullet bills, lots of enemies, and gosh, this is gonna be a difficult level, I can already say that much. <laughs> Just, everything is out there to kill Mario, can I even make it to the first power-up? Alright, And our first... Power up presume. Thank you. I would have been very sad if that was a poison mushroom. All right. Well, okay. That's not solid. Good to know. It's a little late now. <sighs> Damn. Whew. All right. Doing good. In fact, we made it to our first pipe! There we go! Now Mario's gonna go inside and go inside the carts, and we got... Be sure to check them the crates for mushrooms! Those things been known to pop out of things! Oh, great, we're ransacking somebody's supplies 
for mushrooms. Well done, Mario. Somebody shipment of gourmet mushrooms that they were going to use to make mushroom stew and, uh, oh, god, a bonsai bill. Underground, technically flying the opposite direction, he is facing, if you think of things relative to the ground instead of relative to the train. Relative to the train, he's just fine, but yeah, here we go, he's still that mushroom. Now, Mario, that mushroom is going to be used to make a shroom shake, and I'm willing to bet you the next mushroom you find, oh, god, that's a funny hill. That's a very funny hill. And you see, that wasn't fair. See, this one's not a hill. Well, it is a platform, but it's not a hill. But this one, oh, same thing. Except you're more likely to end up on the hill. I'm not going on the hill. I'm instead going to do that. That was actually stupidly lucky, I will admit. But let's just continue on our trade ride and continue to ransack mushrooms. You know, that one, the next one I'm going to get will probably was probably going to be used to make a mushroom cake. Why in the world am I assuming all these mushrooms are going to be flat out used to uh, bake, you know, wonderful things? It's not like all these shipments are going to taste tea or zest tea. Some of them might be going to, uh, who knows where, but people who eat their mushrooms raw and daily, like Mario, and that was bullish. <sighs> oh, one thing's for damn sure, this chair is chair. Train is carrying a lot of Mario gives up two coal supplies used to power up the maniac known as Mario gives up two. If you wanna know what? This ROM hack is coal powered, which means if you support clean energies, you should not support Mario gives up two. And remember when I said that was a dumb joke actually. Midway point and moving on to the next set of characters. Please tell me you have another funny Aw, oh, I was hoping for another funny note that I could read in a funny Ah, funny accents as I pick up a bomb that's just about to blow up, and oh gosh, it's these piranha plants. I was hoping they'd all shoot fire, but no, they jump up, snap Mario in the butt, and then he goes, Youch! You'd go out, Youch, too, if something snapped up and bit you in the butt, wouldn't you? Crossing the world's most dangerous bridge, albatrosses are trying to sabotage this training shipment to cheap jeeps. Man. Uh, there's a lot of environmentalists who are trying to stop this train because it's carrying so much coal. All right, ah, no, 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 you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. <laughs> it's like we must stop this coal shipment. Ah, cheap, 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 cheap. Didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. Ah. Damn environmentalists, cheap, cheap. All right, we're not gonna count on the cheap, cheaps this time. Last time he, what was that? I jumped up to the platform up there, and the game thought I landed instead of continuing on with my jump, resulting in Mario's ultimate demise. Try that again! Try it again! And just try again. I could really use that mushroom! Another hit! Thank the lord. Man, okay, so if you are applying to become a train conductor in the Mushroom Kingdom, you better damn as well make sure that you are prepared to go... Okay, I think this is actually the jump I left off last time, not the previous jump. This jump sucks! There we go. Make sure you're damn well equipped to uh, defend yourself, because there are a lot of environmentalists in the Mushroom Kingdom ready to beat up your ass for shipping coal all over the place. Good God. I hope there's... Damn it. Since I just hit a midway point, technically speaking, save state policy, thank you. Uh... Damn it! Same thing! I was about to say, I hope there's no scaffolding up on the roof, you know, that Mario can bonk his head and totally die from. I feel like every single video game out there, well, except for this one, obviously, has done something like that when you're in an underground train section, you know, there's the ceiling scaffolding, and then you have to duck to make sure you don't get hit, and if you do get hit, it's either instant death or power-up loss. Usually it is instant death, but it could be power-up loss. It's like, you just bonked your head really hard traveling at 100 kilometers per hour. How do you feel? I feel like I have a really bad headache. Screw you, Amazing Flying Hammer Brothers. <laughs> oh, that's what you get for not ducking! A hundred seconds till the train derails and you know, falls down to the bridge up, we found the front! Yeah! Mario's now the conductor of this train. He's gonna secure this coal shipment from all those environments. Listen, power is gonna be able to be provided all across the Mushroom Kingdom. 
Perhaps all those environmentalists should do more like invest in like solar power instead of attacking coal shipments, but that's I guess the life we live in. We live in life where there's corporate executive horrors, presumably like doing stuff with the Peace Switch Lobby who abandon laboratories because you know they're not safe anymore and it costs them less to build a new factory than it does to clean their old factory, and trains that constantly are under bombardment by people who don't want the coal shipments to arrive on time. Good God. We have, like, entered the part of the Mushroom Kingdom that's under constant protest right now. Holy crap. But on the next episode of Let's Play, Mario gives up two, slip and die. So, also, it's a ghost house level, so this is going to be brilliant. No, it's not. This has been Miles Luigi. See you all next time. Mamma mia!